Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and we're going to continue the WordPress theme today. We have covered quite a few uh, different features of WordPress. Uh, we've made custom post types, we've made some custom fields, we've used that data a little bit, and we've, we've done quite a bit. But there's one thing that I really want to do that we haven't covered and that doesn't come in WordPress. It's something you have to kind of make on your own. It is post views. So every time it loads a game, in our case, we want it to increment the amount of views by one. And it has to store that amount, those amount of views in a database that we can then query and bring back within our post, right? So how do we do that? Well, there is a snippet that, I, that we're going to be using. I want to explain it, talk about it, Get it at wpsnip.com slash blah, 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 right? We could just Google that, I'm sure. But it is a, it's two functions that we're going to create, one for getting the post views and one for setting the post views. And he's got some little steps here about how to use them, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to talk about this, right? So let's explain what's going on here. First of all, we're creating a function called get post ID or get, get post views. And then we're saying for this post ID, which will be the current post we're on in the loop. And then what we're doing is I believe we are sit, we are setting the custom field name. And then in here, we're taking the default count at the moment. It will be whatever it is at that time. But for now, count is just an empty variable and we're get post meta. For this ID, getting post meta is getting from this field right here. So we set the custom field and we're going to grab from that field. See, we're saying count key, count key equals that. So we're grabbing from post views count. And this just means, do you want just a single result? And it's saying true. Sure. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Next is saying if this variable has nothing in it, if it's an empty variable, then we want to run what's inside of here. It's going to delete whatever's there just to make sure it's empty. And it's going to add for that field at a zero. So it'll have zero views. You know what I mean? That makes sense? Okay. And it's going to output zero view. If it doesn't run through here, it's going to return count, which would be whatever count is views, the plural of view. You can make that whatever you want to. Okay, that makes some sense, right? Now we're going to set the amount of post views. What is this for? This is like we're, we're going to put this snippet right here on our single page, on our post pages, on our game pages, I guess. And every time that page is loaded, it will fire off this function. Okay, this is just for grabbing the count. This is for setting the amount. So we're doing the same thing through here. And we're saying if it's empty, blah, blah, blah. But if it's not empty... So else, add one to the count. So take the count, do a bit of math, and add one to that value. So if it's 10, it'll now be 11. Every time the page loads, every time this function fires, it'll add one to it. And it's going to update that field in the database for that post ID for that field, which again, count key is that field, and then the count. So it's going to take the count amount, whatever we just made, and add it to that field in the database. Does that make some sense? Hope that makes some sense. I think that's the best way I could explain what's going on. And uh, that's just from reading it. I mean, I didn't write it, so I, I could have got something wrong there, but from it reads like that at least. And we're going to take this and we're going to use this because we can. There's probably a copy, <laughs> there's a copy button. Well, doesn't really do what I wanted it to do, but okay. So we're going to take that and copy that. And we're going to go to our theme and our functions.php. And we're going to place these two functions. We know how they work. So we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to paste them in, right? I'll have this link in the description, I am sure. Now what we want to do is we actually want to grab the set post. Well, we don't have a place to use that yet. Or we'll have it ready to count views. And to get the amount of post views, we'll graph them here. Let's go ahead and run this snippet through a loop and see if we're grabbing zero, which means that we are working. If we're not grabbing zero, I would assume something's broken. So let's take the index page. Uh, let's go below the description on one of them. 
Just paste it. Ooh. Ooh, what am I doing? I don't like the way that looks. I want to make out a single line. But, okay, we'll just say that like it is. Go to our thing and refresh. Okay, see? There we go. Zero view, zero view, zero view, zero view. So now, if we had these pages set up where we click on this, it takes us to Awful Media Games Adventure Game. If we had that set up to where we would go to that page at the moment, then that would increment that by one view every time we went there. So that's how we're going to do the view system. Not too bad. Found an awesome snippet that's been out for a while. I mean, it's... Is there a date on this? I would assume there was a date. Zoom out to normal size here. I don't see a date. Hmm. I think it's been out for a while, though. But, I mean, it's not like they invented this. But it is a good snippet to use. It's, it's clean and it makes sense. That's what I like. So, let's go back. What I want to do real quick is I want to set up our homepage a bit better than it is with these uh, these heading tags we can do something really quickly with that oh that's that's great <laughs> let's look at what's going on here nothing is going on why is it why is it like that let's name this hot games or something which would be like a lot of views maybe or popular games Oh, that'll break something. What did I just do? Let me just set it up where it will uh, auto uppercase, but not important right now. What we want to do is go to the style sheet, and I want to go to the heading tags, and I want to set a margin of 15 pixels, 0, 15 pixels, 0. Save that and see what we have now. Hmm. Let's just target the heading tag and see mm, where we at if we can even this out a bit let's reset well the margins to be reset yeah all that stuff's reset already so let's just work on this um, see if we can even this out a bit Okay, we, our problem is, is that. See the problem there? Let's inspect this with Firebug. Am I, what am I missing? What am I not reading here? I didn't, I didn't, I went to inspect the element. Hmm, what am I missing? I can't see it, Firebug. Thank you. Let me see it. Um, <laughs> I hate when I just go into stuff and I'm like, ah, I ain't gonna plan it. it. Ain't too difficult to do. I'll just go in and start doing it. <laughs> well, no, you won't. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. Scroll up. I mean, where is that line height coming from? We just set the line height to like 2M for now. That doesn't fix the ultimate problem. Or did it? What the heck? Okay, so apparently it was a line height issue. Um, obviously, I mean, it looked like one, but I just didn't know what was causing it. And I still don't know what was causing it, but what fixed it was I just defined a line height for all of the heading tags, which isn't ideal, so we're not going to do that, but that's what, uh, yeah, see, that's what, yeah, blah, blah, blah. that's what fixed it. Okay, so let's set a line height for the H1. Line height, uh, 2M. What we need in here? 2M, maybe, sure. Line height, 1.9M. Oh, they're all H1s, aren't they? Well, that's fine for now. That's fine for now. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'm going to go ahead and continue recording. So you'll probably get two parts today. 
Uh, we're going to do this part that we just did. And the next part will be working on finishing up the home page because I really want to get this done. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes, actually. So thank you for watching.